I simply want to encourage you on this morning that God does not require anyone's approval to move on your behalf, nor does he require anyone's approval to bless you, to elevate you, or to speak through you. Isaiah 55 verses 8 and 9 read, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither your ways my ways, declares the Lord, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. This passage, my brothers and my sisters, emphasizes the transcendence and sovereignty of God's ways, highlighting to us that his actions and his plans are beyond human comprehension. And since they are beyond human comprehension, his plans don't require our validation in order for them to be accomplished. So simply be encouraged on today, knowing that God, the Most High, the King of Kings, the Almighty God does not require anyone's approval, no matter what their title may be, to move on your behalf. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come now as humbly as we know how, thanking you simply for being an awesome God. We do thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. And we thank you for loving us beyond our comprehension. And right now, Lord, as we prepare ourselves to move on today, and as we prepare to approach your throne, it is our prayer that you cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Give us a mindset, Lord, to understand when we're right and when we are wrong. And we ask you to give us the heart of Jesus Christ so that as we move, people may see our good works and come running asking, what must I do to be saved? Lord, we ask you to give us focus as we prepare to embark on this new day that you have blessed us to see. We ask you to give us courage as we go forth into the darkness, bringing your light to a dying world. We ask you, Lord, to heal our minds. We ask you to heal our bodies, Lord. We ask you to bless those, Lord, who are struggling day in and day out. We ask you to bless our homes and we ask a special prayer on our children. We ask you, Lord, to cover them, Lord. We ask you to guide them and protect them in this world that is trying to consume them. We ask you, Lord, to prepare us to not only speak the gospel, but to live the gospel as we go forth on today. Let our lives be our sermons and let the words that we speak and the actions that we do usher in transformation to those around us. So simply on today, Lord, we ask you to prepare us. We ask you, Lord, to guide us, Lord. And we understand that we don't need anyone's approval to do what you are calling us to do. So we ask you, Lord, to order our steps. We ask you, Lord, to continue to move on our behalf. We ask you to continue to bless us abundantly, Lord. And we will be so careful to give your name the honor, the praise, and the glory, Lord. So we ask you to fall afresh right now. Move in our hearts. Move in our minds. Guide us every step of the way. Protect us from dangers seen and unseen as we strive to do your will. So we ask you, Lord, to cover us as we prepare to go forth, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Forever we pray, amen, amen, and amen. And I want you to understand that God, the great God Almighty, does not 
require anyone's approval to move on your behalf. So with that understood, I simply encourage you to go and be amazing on this day. God bless you.